Welcome members, this is Brandon Judd responding today to a video analysis request uploaded by user Brian. And this is on uh, some hillside front flips to fakie. And uh, thanks for uploading the video, Brian. Uh, you're on the right track. Everything looks really, really good. And uh, the issues you're having are pretty common. Um, we also appreciate this description here. It lets us kind of get into your head to see what you're thinking. Um, and uh, for everyone just now joining us, uh, in the description here you mentioned that uh, you're looking for tips on your technique and being able to add a grab to it. Uh, and there's two attempts in this video. One is uh, well executed and you land it, and then the second one is a little under rotated and you land and slip out. Um, you say sometimes you have uh, heavy landings and you pop the handle, and then sometimes you feel like the rotation stalls even though you have plenty of height. Um, and those are very common issues with the front to fakie, uh, some of which I've experienced myself uh, quite frequently. So uh, you're not alone here. And uh, there are two small things. One is your position at the wake. Uh, and then the other thing is the timing of you adding the front side rotation. Uh, that's going to really affect your, um, it's going to affect how fast you flip and how easy it is for you to get over your toes. Uh, so let's take a look at this real quick, and uh, we're starting out with the first one, which is the the good one. And uh, everything here looks pretty good. Uh, you take your hand off the handle a little early at the wake, um, but it's not terrible. Um, and now let's look at the one that you fall on. Um, it all looks pretty similar. You come a little earlier um, into the rotation. Uh, into the front side 180 and you take your hand off the handle a little earlier at the beginning and it puts you in this position that causes you to just slip out which is very common um, so let's dive into some of your positions at the wake and kind of get that first part down um, alright so I want to take a look at this guy here uh, this one is the correct one um, and Actually, no, I had that backwards. Sorry. This one is the correct one. Um, and I want, if I'm going to draw a line right here, uh, like through your spine, kind of the angle that you're taking off at, you'll notice that it's tilted a little bit toward uh, your approach side. So this means that you sort of uh, cock back a little bit on over the tail of your board, kind of like a catapult would, um, or like a, if you were to pull vault. Like if this, if the wake was um, where you were going to put the end of the pole vault stick and then you were going to run, I know nothing about pole vaulting, obviously. So, uh, and then if you were going to run toward the wake and then uh, put the bottom of your, your pole vaulting stick, I'm going to sound so embarrassing to anyone who knows pole vaulting, but you get the idea. So if you were to plant that in the wake, uh, you want the, that stick to be angled toward the side you're coming from so it can kind of launch you forward into that. And right here, the reason that that one, uh, the first one that you did, uh, functioned well is because that, that uh, pole, vault, pole vaulting stick, sorry, I'm getting tongue-tied here, that pole vaulting stick is angled a little bit toward your takeoff and lets you uh, propel yourself into the rotation a little harder. Um, so long kind of bumpy explanation <laughs> uh, for that, but it's going to make that pitching over into the uh, toe side landing a lot easier. So let's compare that now to the one that you didn't land. So if we were to draw that same line kind of down your spine to see the angle that you're at now, you'll notice it's tilted a little bit toward your takeoff, uh, sorry, toward your landing side. So if we toggle back and forth between the two of these, uh, you'll see that your your board is kind of in the same spot in the wake. Um, you know, one foot is kind of rising above the water, and the other one uh, is in the wake. So we didn't take this little snapshot at a different time. So this is like identically timed, uh, but here you're leaning uh, toward your landing already. And this just prevents you from being able to kind of uh, catapult yourself into that uh, flip and get extra rotation. So the so the solution to this is when you when you take off, just try to get a little bit more against the rope, load it up a little bit more against the tail, and that'll catapult you and pitch you into the flip a little harder, um, and that'll help it a lot. Another thing is if you are loading something up a little harder, 
um, especially with uh, like we had mentioned we want to save the front side rotation a little bit you don't want to do that so early in the trick I would like to keep that hand on the handle a little bit earlier I know it's really tempting to but I mean your board is not even you know it's maybe a third of the way out of the water and you're already I mean that hand is gone so um, save it for just a little bit longer so we can delay that uh, unintentional front side rotation uh, a little bit longer and uh, and I'll show you why here in a minute so um, here's an example of my front to fakie where I I actually do kind of slip out over my heels like you did but you get the idea you see how I'm, I'm kinda leaning back over the tail here right before my takeoff um, and I really step on the tail hard now at this point I'm at the same spot that your board was in the wake and I just now took my hand off your hand was already out here so it it's okay to to you know get early on taking your hand off but I want you to try and hold two hands for a little longer um, and then the grab you wanna just try and get your upper body to get over the the tip of your board so watch how I do it here um, all I do is I just keep the nose high and stomp on the tail and then allow my upper body to come forward reach for the nose of the board um, and then when I get it, I just want to try and bring it into my body and try and kind of crawl over the top of the board. Anyway, so that that's kind of the the trick for getting the grab. Um, but really, this grab is really, really easy to get. Um, as long as you don't feel like you have to use that arm uh, like you are here. Like It looks like your arm is being used to kind of throw yourself into the flip. And you shouldn't be using your upper body and your arm to throw yourself into the flip. You should be using the load um, and uh, and the line tension to really catapult you in there. Uh, so anyway, let me get back to this. So in this one, I actually get into the 180 a little too early. And I stall a little bit, just a little bit right here. Um, and we cut it because I got kind of stuck right there. But that that's a normal thing to have happen. Uh, the reason why is because the landing flip is really a toe side front roll. Um, so let's take a look at a toe side front roll and look how the leverage functions here. So you'll see Kyle at this position is angled with his chest closer to the wakes than his board. And then when he gets to the wake, he wedges his board in front of his chest um, and again, here's that kind of catapulting type thing I was talking about. That's going to get your upper body to really get propelled into the flip um, and send your board up and around, and your board's going to have a lot of momentum into that, allowing you to get back upright and get over your toes for the landing. So if you think about it, when you go here to the front flip, um, it is a lot harder to kind of get over the tail than it is for Kyle to just wedge the board forward into the wake. So you really have to over-exaggerate that um, for the front of fakie. On the front flip, you can get away with a lot less across rotation because you're not landing like you would on a front roll over your toes where you just need extra flip. Because um, the front roll, for example, if we go back here, uh, the front roll starts out when you kind of cock back to take off back here um, you're going to if you were to flip just 360 degrees you would land on your heels right like if I was to take Kyle and just spin him 360 and have him land in this position imagine this is his landing position he'd be slipping out so on your front roll you actually have to do like a flip and a quarter by the time you're done so he's now leaning over his toes and the difference between a heel side front flip and a heel side front flip to fakie is just that. It's you're adding that extra 180, but you're also adding another bit of uh, flip to that, another quarter flip onto your already heel side front flip. So some of this you may already know, um, but that's, again, that's the physics behind it. That's why it does that. So your solution is to... Um, like we mentioned before, get over the tail, but also if you delay the 180, um, you will end up having more momentum into the first half of the flip because you lose a lot of your 
Uh, let's see if we can get here. You'd lose a lot of your uh, your like flipping power and leverage once you turn into that front flip position. So if you hold the normal position a little longer, you'll be fine. Another thing you can do, and this sounds kind of silly, but it works way more often than it should, um, is just try and go a little bigger. Try and pop a little harder. Try and just give a lot of extra effort. Uh, this is Bob Sitchell uh, doing a heel side front flip to fakie, and he comes in with a little bit more power and tries to take it really far into the flats. Um, I would recommend either going straight wake to wake or going a little bigger, a little further into the flats. Um, and when you do, and you'll see here, uh, when you do, you'll see Bob is really using a lot of speed. Um, and he just will send it straight up, worries about getting the grab first. And then he doesn't get to his front roll position until like right here. Uh, which is way later in the flip than yours. So, um, and that allows him to really just get over his toes for the landing. Um, I'll show you another one from another angle here. Um, but it just makes it a lot easier to get over your toes for the landing. So, um, let's look at where you land on yours. And you're all, see how you're already in that front flip position really quickly? Uh, you could save that rotation, and that's going to help keep your flip moving earlier in the flip so you don't have to lose as much right here where it kind of stalls out. Um, and again, you're landing in the flats, but just barely, uh, and not necessarily down the wake. So I would just go wake to wake or maybe try and push it a little bigger. And that, that across momentum that you're sending yourself across the wakes is going to give your upper body more momentum to throw forward into the uh, toe side landing, if that makes sense. So again, really good front flip to fakie. You're on the right track there, and that um, that grab is going to be right there for you. Uh, if you are specifically wanting to work on the grab, then uh, send us a video or two of you trying to get the grab and missing, and we can help troubleshoot that. Otherwise, I, I really think if you just um, at the beginning are more patient in the flip and then go for the grab um, and try to really, once you get your hand on the board, try to really uh, climb over the nose and get your chest further over the nose and bring it in. That'll help your flip speed up and then it will uh, make the grab really, really easy to get. So I don't think that'll be too much for you, but if it, if it is, if you do run into a problem, then uh, send a video in and we can solve that for you. Uh, all right, good luck, and uh, thanks for submitting.